and I don't know if you guys can tell, but we're in the middle of a thunderstorm. But we're gonna film no matter what, and we're gonna talk about this month's boxy charm. <laughs> That's clearly already been opened. <laughs> thundering it's lightning outside so i'm sorry if you guys hear that i've got two whiny dogs in here with me as well so sorry if you hear that too um we're just gonna jump right in the theme for sorry the theme for this month's box is candy shop i don't understand how any of this stuff really plays into that really thinking about it and like now that I know what I have and all that but whatever so this is gonna be a spoiler as you guys know I always like end up looking at what I get before I film the un unboxing video it's because I have no patience and I just I want to know <laughs> um, so I feel like there is only one thing that really fits the theme of candy shop and also this is the cheapest box I've gotten like the cheapest value I've gotten out of a box which kind of feels a little bit bratty to like complain about but it's also the truth and I feel like it's something that should be pointed out but I don't think I've gotten any bad products and um, I've gotten a lot of stuff well I've gotten a co I got like one th I got a couple things from brands that I've been wanting to try out so that's exciting let's just jump right in so the first thing that i got is from frank body it is their glow mask it is caffeinated it says so i did test this out yesterday when i got it because i came home from work and my boxy charm was waiting for me and um I tried this out so it is a mask it's basically it reminds me a lot like the glam glow mask that I got from like my first boxy charm because it's just like a really nice moisturizer that you put a lot of it on your face you let it sit for about 10 minutes and then you wipe it off and it leaves your face just like nice and glowy and that's exactly what this does except it's not made with berries like the glam glow one is it's not face yogurt it's like an actual moisturizing cream moisturizer cream sorry i cannot talk next i had this luxie that well there's this little bag and it says luxie on it so i knew it was luxie brushes i've been on the fence about whether i should really keep these because i i don't really need any brushes per se but I think I am gonna keep them because I do like the Luxie brushes that I have. I think they're really good, they're good quality. I've noticed that they're actually my favorite ones to use. So I'm gonna keep them for myself. And I figured I now have quite a few brushes that are in good quality that are in like their own sets. So all of the like single brushes that I have I'm probably just going to get rid of those and just keep the ones that are in sets. But I will point out the ones that I have here. They're these ones. I love that they do have rose gold on them and it's awesome. Oh, I didn't notice this before. But they do say Luxie and then they also say what each brush is. So I got a medium angled shading brush a brow and lash brush which i needed a tapered blending brush which i think i already have from them in a different color and i do really like using it then i have a blending brush from them and a large shader which I also think I have like a medium shader from them that I got in like an Ipsy bag. So I'm super excited to use these. I'm really excited about using this lash brush, or not lash, um, well yeah, lash but brow brush. That's what I'm gonna use it for mostly. I try using these for like my lashes, but I'm always scared. I'm gonna scratch my eye. And I do really like this little, this. I do really like the little bag it comes in. 
It reminds me of like the little bag. I just bought the Morphe and Coca-Cola brush set. I don't know why. It was like one of the most impulsive things I've done the beginning of the pandemic. And <laughs> that's not a bad brush set. It's just random and unnecessary and I didn't really need it. So I'm thinking about keeping that brush set and then these brushes and then the ones that I've got. Probably the ones I've gotten from my Ipsy bag too because they are really good. But I think the rest of them are gonna go. And then I also have a set of Pokemon brushes. Um, if you watch some of my older videos, you've definitely seen me use a couple of them. I don't use them anymore because I just I have different brushes and I don't want to like ruin those. They're they're to look at and appreciate not to use. Then the next thing I have is the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer. I've been wanting to try some Dose of Color stuff in forever. Like it was one of the reasons that I signed up for BoxyCharm. This is the concealer that I got. I am super excited to try the Dose of Colors one. Definitely keeping that. Then I got another Ace Beauty, I think it's Ace Beauty product. I received in one of my first boxy charms a bronzer palette from them. And in this box, I got a couple of lip liners. Oops. A couple of lip liners. A red one, which is so gorgeous. This one right here. And then the other color I got is B Peachy. And it is the one right there. Um, I did put one on, or actually no, I've just like swapping, swatched them on the back of my hand and stuff, and they feel so soft to apply, like I cannot wait to use them. I got this cute eyeshadow palette. It's by Beauty Bakery. It says I've got my days where I just like to be simple. Okay, we're not gonna read that. It's the Beauty Bakery Breakfast in Bed eyeshadow palette. I really really love the color story of this it's got super cute colors all right before trying these out we're gonna go over the prices so this eyeshadow palette is worth $38 uh, yeah, so it's the Breakfast in Bed Eyeshadow Palette by Beauty Bakery. Then we've got the brush set. This is $40. And it's the Wonderlust set by Luxie Brushes. Then we've got the Dose of Colors Meet Your Who Concealer. And this is $24. The Frank Body Glow Mask is $21.95. Oh, am I low? And then the Ace Beauty, where are you guys? These Ace Beauty uh, Draw It Lip Liner Duo is $16. So I'm going to jump off camera now real quick, guys, just because Ain't nobody need to see me trying to put on makeup right now. Really not. <laughs> and I I need to like make sure I have enough electricity and stuff to to keep filming. So I'm gonna try out these products. I'm gonna let you know what I think of them when we're done. Alright guys, so this is the final look. I actually like how everything came together, so it's funny. I tried to use as much BoxyCharm stuff that I've gotten as I could. So the foundation I'm using is that QMS Day Cream, the tinted day cream, sorry. The eyeliner is the eyeliner that I got from them recently. The, um, I don't remember what it's called, but it was an eyeliner. I think I got it in the same box as my QMS uh, tinted foundation. Um, yeah, I tried to use the lip liner with, I tried to use the lip liner with this Ulta Beauty lip gloss. It's the Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick. Did not work very well, but 
I still like how the look turned out overall. Honestly, wasn't too impressed with this eyeshadow palette. I tried to do like one look at first and it didn't like the eyeshadow primer that I was using, so then I had to take everything off. It did seem to work better without my eyeshadow primer, and it's probably because the eyeshadow primer I was using was expired. But, like I said, overall I think it turned out not too bad. I don't know what that was. It's just a nice kind of like soft glam. It is weird to me that this is considered their like candy shop eyeshadow palette or at least one of them because it doesn't feel very candy shop i think more bright colors and these are very like dark gemstone toned but either way i was able to put on put together a nice look i feel i used my lexi brush set that they gave me in this box and i really liked how these work too not surprised though because i really like the other lexi brushes that i have and the concealer i really liked the concealer like that was bomb i love it it's definitely gonna be my new go-to and then what else did i use i like the lip liner but like i said it i don't know if it's because i used eye cream on my lips just to kind of like help moisturize them and not dry out the lipstick because i knew i was going to be using the matte but it didn't work the way i liked it didn't it didn't go on. It like kind of just wiped right off. Then the other products that I use, because that QMS tinted moisturizer really leaves my face looking like greasy, I use my Laura Mercier translucent powder and it just kind of gave my skin this nice glowy look. I wanted to use my Ace Beauty or whatever it's called bronzer palette, but then I was like, no, because I'm just doing my makeup for at home. And... So I didn't do that. I didn't do my brows because, again, I'm at home. Why would I? And I didn't do lashes. I was going to, but then I was like, if I'm not going to do my bronzer, I'm not going to do lashes either. Just threw on some mascara. Thanks for tuning in to today's video today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you get BoxyCharm and you watch this, let me know what you guys got and what your favorite thing was. I think my favorite thing that I got in this month was... Th was the concealer. I don't know why I had to think about that, but it was definitely the concealer. <laughs> um, Thanks for tuning into today's video. If you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.